Hello, in this video we are going to talk about the Common Mole Rejection Ratio, or CMRR. So, Common Mode Rejection Ratio, which is another figure of merit for operational amplifiers. When we have an amplifier, uh, we can talk about two types of gains. We can talk about the differential gain, so we can depict an op-amp, and if we apply a, a differential gain between a, a voltage um, between or across the two input terminals, we can refer to it as VID or, or input voltage differential. Uh, we expect to get an output, VOD, in response to the differential input signal. And uh, the ratio of that output voltage to the differential input voltage, that's what we understand to be the differential gain. And it's what we have ref been referring to up to now as the signal gain. Um, ideally, the open loop differential gain of an op, op, op amp should be infinity. There is also um, another type of gain that uh, is referred to as the common mode gain. And similarly, if I have an amplifier and I apply a, uh, a signal that is common to both inputs, so the same signal across both inputs, which I'm going to refer to as uh, my VICM, or V input common mode. Uh, since the op amp ideally is a differential amplifier, I will expect that if I apply the same signal across both inputs, uh, given that the difference in voltage across the two inputs is zero, I will expect to get a zero output. In all reality, uh, that's not the case. There is a, um, a common mode gain associated with operational amplifiers, which is an imperfection or a non-ideality of the op amp. And so I will uh, get an output VOCM. And again, I'm talking about just the effect of uh, the, the uh, non-zero uh, common mode gain as opposed to other offset effects. So ignoring all the other offset effects, even if we didn't have any sources of offset, if I apply a common mode input signal across the terminals of the op amp, I'm still going to get um, a non-zero output due to the uh, finite common mode rejection ratio or non-zero uh, common mode gain. Uh, the common mode gain is then defined as the ratio of the V out CM, the output voltage in this case, divided by the common mode input signal. And again, ideally we will expect or we will want the common mode gain to be zero. The common mode rejection ratio or CMRR uh, represents uh, how well the amplifier um, disregards or attenuates common mode signals and it's in fact a ratio of the differential gain to the common mode gain so basically it tells you uh, how much more the amplifier amplifies the differential portion of the signal than the common mode portion of the signal. In most applications the common mode portion of a signal since we're trying to amplify a differential signal we consider the common mode portion of it uh, part of the noise is not part of our signal, and sometimes you will you will see it referred to as well as common mode noise, as opposed to common mode input signal. Now the CMRR uh, ideally is infinite, since uh, AD ideally is infinity and ACM ideally is zero. Uh, practically, uh, for a seven forty one op amp, for example, it is around ninety dBs. Um, the CMRR is a parameter that appears in the data sheet of, of an op-amp typically and expressed typically in dBs. If you wanted to calculate the dB value of CMRR, it will be equal to 20 times the log base 10 of its linear value of AD divided by ACM. Now, if we wanted to accurately represent the output voltage of an op-amp, 
we will need to consider both the differential gain and the common mode gain. And so if I wanted to just lump the two models that I have previously presented, the one for the differential gain versus the common mode gain, if I wanted to uh, combine them both into a single um, circuit, it could look something like this. So I'm actually going to keep the same convention as above and just put the plus at the top. Typically, we will represent the common mode signal, VICM, and the differential signal. And normally, uh, half of it gets apportioned uh, to one input terminal and the other half to the other input terminal. So this will be VID divided by 2, and this will be VID divided by 2, but with the opposite polarity. And so my overall output uh, for the amplifier will be the differential gain times the differential input signal plus the common mode gain times the common mode input signal. And from here, perhaps it is easier to see um, the offset that the common mode um, common mode gain on zero common mode gain uh, creates at the output. If you wanted to represent uh, the common mode rejection ratio of an amplifier, we can do so uh, by using a model. It's a similar model to the one that we use for the DC offsets, since again, the effect of the finite CMRR is going to be an offset at the output of the amplifier with respect to the ideal uh, value or nominal value that we uh, were expecting. And so our circuit model to represent the effects of CMRR will be essentially an ideal op-amp, so assuming an ideal CMRR, but then adding one of those uh, offset voltage sources or noise voltage sources of value V common mode input divided by CMRR And the way we will calculate the output of, of the op-amp or the um, portion of the output due to the finite CMRR uh, will be the noise gain times that um, input quantity, VCMI divided by CMRR. So this is how the effect in the output will be modeled. Um, this is the original expression for CMRR, both of them. Um, something to notice is that uh, typically the inverting op-amp configurations will have lower CMRR-related errors uh, because notice that the uh, the circuit model to represent the CMRR error is um, associated with uh, the value of the common mode input signal and an in, in an inverting configuration, uh, both the input terminals of the op-amp are sitting at zero um, at either ground or virtual ground. And so... There is no common mode signal in there. Um, high values of CMRR are always important, but they are critical in particular applications and specifically applications um, for precision circuits, meaning circuits where we expect the input, the differential input signals to be very small. That's one of the cases where a good CMRR for our circuit will be critical. Uh, or otherwise applications where uh, we expect to have a uh, uh, high value for our common mode noise. Um, the other parameter, which is uh, not related to the CMRR, but it's also a rejection ratio, and uh, perhaps we should distinguish it from the CMRR, is the PSRR, that is the power supply rejection ratio. Uh, it's something different, but... Um, it's a, it's a similar type of quantity in that in the case of the common mode rejection ratio, we are trying to measure uh, the variation that occurs in the output signal due to variations in the common mode input signal. With the power supply rejection ratio, what we measure is the variations in the output signal due to variations in uh, the power supply values, power supply voltages. Uh, the expression for PSRR it's also a ratio, but it will be the delta in supply voltages or the change in supply voltages divided by um, the change in V out. There are 
multiply times the differential gain. And there are uh, uh, different ways that it gets reported in data sheets. Sometimes you will see the PSRR. Um, and if you read carefully the, the notes in the easy table, it'll tell you that it was calculated varying each supply independently and just picking the worst case scenario. Uh, sometimes they will tell you they were varying both supplies in opposite directions and uh, reporting the value, um, the change in voltage at the output as the PSR. Anyway, two, uh, two important uh, ratios and um, another figure of merit to compare the performance of, of different amplifiers. Thank you.